one of the many inspirations for what I do with the camera is a brother by the name of Jamel Shabazz, a legendary photographer whose works has not only been published in books, shown in exhibitions, featured in films, and used in editorial magazine projects. So what I'm striving to do at this point in my life is just make sure that my history and culture is preserved. Not my history and culture, but the history and culture of our people is preserved for future generations. He is also a righteous man that has serviced the culture in such a prolific way, capturing images of our culture and putting us in a captivating light. His work has captured a time and place that has long since faded. So whenever I get these opportunities to put my work in the institutions, you know, I, I accept it. And it's a number right now. You know, the African American, American Museum, Smithsonian, has a lot of my work right now. The, the Bronx Museum has my work. I went to go see the God's exhibit in the Bronx Museum of Art in the Pilon a few months ago. It is all a reflection of my journey over the past post type of year. So my reflection is pretty much just a, a testimony of the people I met during my travels that I attempted to just add on to, you know, to teach. That's all it's about. People often look at the work and they see the images of, of the, the styles and the poses and things of that nature. But for me personally, it represents all the brothers and sisters I met during my travels who I had a strong desire to teach. So the reflection became uh, evidence of my conversations with people I met. The God has inspired me to document history in my own way and preserve the legacy of our culture. Because we have to think about legacy, you know what I mean? If we return to the essence, what's going to happen with what we have documented over time, you know what right, I mean? Right, right. If you don't have a plan that goes to the curb, well, oftentimes your, your, uh, uh, those, your seeds may not know what to do with it. Mm -hmm. So my objective at this point in my life is to make sure that all of this history and culture is preserved for future generations. I have an abundance of it. And not only am I, yeah, am right. I sharing the reflections, but it's the books, it's the music, it's, it's everything right now because it's so much. Everything, you, this is just a small portion of the research in which I've done. Because I look at it as research now. It's extensive research. Mm. You know, since I came, came into the knowledge at like nine years old, you know, and just starting to see a larger world around me, I just fell in love with knowledge. And I didn't even realize that I had built up an abundance of knowledge through the books that I've collected, my journal writing. It's a lot right now. And it, it's relevant, you know, because there's a lot of information that could be used for future generations. Mm. So I'm just determined right now with this degree to make sure that it's preserved. If Mega did this.